My area of research is decision analysis. And with my colleague Gilberto Montivella, we've been working together for over a decade in developing risk management systems to help manage biosecurity threats. There are many challenges in dealing with biosecurity threats, both because they have multiple impacts, socioeconomic, health impacts, but also we have limited resources to manage them. Policymakers have to use the best evidence available in a timely manner to address these threats and make sure that large outbreaks don't happen. An example of a biosecurity threat would be the recent situation with the Zika virus. And obviously the Zika virus has an important impact on human health and therefore areas where the virus is spreading are areas that people would not necessarily visit. And so we have cases in which tourism has been affected. We created a framework for managing emerging animal health threats for DEFRA, the Department for Environment, Food and Rural Affairs in the UK, which helps them in prioritizing their capabilities in managing those animal health threats. This system has helped DEFRA in managing more than 200 animal health threats and also improving legislation against some of them. So we've been using the framework since 2010 on a monthly basis for the veterinary risk group. One of the most significant impacts that we've used the framework for recently has been the threat of chronic wasting disease in the USA. It's recently found in deer in Norway as well. The framework was developing as a sustainable uh, platform to facilitate discussions and decisions on very complex issues. The framework has been recently extended for global health prioritizations, such as the recent work we've done for the Pan American Health Organization on assessing rabies. Biosecurity threats are here to stay, so the work that we're doing will continue to be relevant. That's why working with organizations such as DEFRA provides uh, an opportunity for us to improve our research but at the same time it creates opportunities to find new ways and new methods to tackling biosecurity threats.